everybody, welcome to Crafty Cottage Stitches. Um, this is floss tube number 17. Today is Saturday, April 24th. Um, I'm Heather. I'm Jeanette. And welcome to our floss tube channel. Uh, we want to say thank you for all of the really nice comments for the our fun last comments. couple videos. <laughs> and um, just wanted to welcome all of our new followers. If you're over um, watching our floss tube because of Lori Holt or because of um, Nicola at Bumble Stitches or Carolee, Carolee or Nancy, or Jennifer, or anybody that mentions us yes, on their you. videos. Thank you so much. Um, we thought we'd just do a quick introduction just in case you are new here. Um, I'm Heather and this is my mom, Jeanette. Yes. And we live in Washington, Western Washington mm -hmm. State. And yeah, we film our floss tube at my mom's house in her craft room. Every two weeks. Um, that's kind of the schedule that seems to work for us. Any, we couldn't do it any other way, I don't think. So. No. We, it's kind of a lot, yeah. as it is. <laughs> we stitch, we quilt, we craft. Um, we garden. Garden. Um, flit around all over and never house projects anything. and home decor. I have a daughter. Evelyn, she will be two in May, coming up here fast, going on 14. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's kind of a lot. <laughs> um, I have two girls. So you'll hear this her occasionally them, so. outside the door, like right now. Yeah, she's probably going to, she'll probably do that today, so. Oh, and I have another granddaughter. She will be 17 in a few days, so. Yeah, I can't believe freaks that. Me out, freaks me out. Okay, so let's... What are so we welcome, gonna, and thank welcome. you for following you. us. Um, the first thing I want to do is we got a wonderful card. Happy mail. Happy mail. From one of our friends here that we've met on... Instagram? Instagram and YouTube. And she made us the... That is so cute. The cutest card ever. Just to frame that. I am. I'm going to yeah. set it up. Um, I keep all my... We'll have to share it. Back there, yeah. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> Came in my mailbox. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'll sit back in my cabinet here. So we love it. And thank super, you. Super, um, cute. I didn't ask if I could say her name. So we're just going to say one of her friends from, from here in Instagram. So look at that. How cute that is. How perfect is that? And she sent, because she knows we're working on. It's like the best color. Look, it matches I know. The it's perfect. It's perfect. Um, yeah, it's going to like so totally live in my yeah. sewing room forever. So, um, she sent us some stitching patterns cause she knows we're working on doing a tear tray for my sewing room that we're like um, stitching themed, yeah, sewing so, themed. And they're, I think, are they all, they're all Suhillis, I think. Yeah, they are. So and sorry if you hear you. the noise, there's a little bit of yard work going on. Yeah. My husband's background. plugging the grass. <laughs> and so this one and... Oh, this one I feel like I've seen done recently. Really? Somebody did that recently. I'm going to Lori Holt color this up and it's going to be in my craft Maybe room. Isn't that going to be cute? Jennifer? Did Jennifer do that one? Sure. How cute is that? And then Heather will now have this one because I have this oh, yeah. one. I've actually started some of the black and yeah, got sidetracked. But I know. Isn't that pretty? Super cute. And then I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing these in aquas and yellows yeah. and stuff. But Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Know you are super and cute. We love them. Thank you. And I'm gonna. Steal it might this. take. No, you're not. <laughs> um, it might take me a year to get to some of them, but we are so excited. Actually, message no. us and let us know what paper this is. Yeah, is this so uh, simple stories? It's super cute. That'll be done soon. <laughs> He's just going, I have a flagstone path, and that's what and it did. It's bouncing over it. So, But it's kind of weird and muggy here today. So. And rainy. I think and cold. I'm going to start this one on Tomato Tuesday. That'll be, I think, a pre, I mean, besides the tomato, it'll be a quick yeah. stitch. Isn't that cute? I have to start this. That's super cute. So, when you do Tomato Tuesday, I'm not sure who started it. Is that Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting? Maybe. Melissa? The day is just a suggestion, right? Yeah. <laughs> because I have a contribution to that, but I did not do it on Tuesday. So, anyway, thank but nobody you. Nobody would thank know you, that. Thank you. But we're not liars. No. So. <laughs> oh, well. 
I, I say I'm gonna get to stuff and it takes a while. So anyway, thank you. Thank you. We and love you guys. It's so awesome. I just don't even know what to say. We have a lot of good friends. Yes, we have. So. And we started getting happy mail and it makes us really excited. <laughs> My husband's like, oh, what do you don't. mean? Like somebody sent something to you? Yeah, like, I know. Yeah. <laughs> But don't think you have no. to. I just, no. I, I'm always just like, like oh emailing my gosh, us and talking you. to us, sending us pictures that you find online or things that you're working on. We really enjoy that. And we really do. It's lots of inspiration and it's fun. I just never know what to say because I'm like, really? Thank you for thinking of us. Well, I'll show this because it was kind of Happy Meal. Yeah. It's like, well, not really, but I mean, yes, it's I got the this in the mail. Ever. This is. My mother-in-law made this hat for my daughter. And we'll do a little, mo I'll have her model it at the end of the video. Isn't it the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's crochet. And then she beaded all the little seeds. It's I a crochet, but not um, shaped things. things. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, like flowers or yeah. whatever. But. My mother-in-law is really good at doing just like different things. She made, um, she did a crocheted, um, Cat toy, like a little mouse one time. Oh, really? Yeah, I have that. It's really See, I've never super done cute. A critter. Yeah. It was small. I mean, you could. I mean, how is it any different than like a hat? I've and then just hat. finishing it out the other way. I don't you know, know what I mean. Um, but yeah, this is a pattern that I found on Etsy. And so I will link that if you guys are interested. She so said the instructions says, were really, really good on it. Oh, really? You could, I think it was like That's all cute. sizes. Um, and she had a ton of different. Um, ton of different patterns so i'll link that to let you know what etsy shop that was through what were we looking for were we looking for crocheted strawberries or something that no i was specifically oh, looking were you? for a hat for her i think yeah because i thought that'd be super cute oh my gosh and she loves wearing it it's loves it's, loves loves it it's cute no matter what she's wearing otherwise so <laughs> it could be kind of ridiculous or nothing at all yeah <laughs> so should we do our giveaway giveaway yeah we had so many wonderful comments because Heather's like, red, you don't want to pick red. Well, I just didn't know what people would Wasn't say. Wasn't it fun? But it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> because people, even if you well, don't. Well, we got lots of ideas for the best, like, color of red floss. Yeah. And, and even if you don't love red in your house, red is, like, if you watch Susan Stanley's videos, she will give you the history of strawberries and red and all that mm -hmm. um but basically red is you know everybody thinks it's, it's either summertime or or christmas. like somebody says that it made them think of christmas but now yeah. it's not like that because they think of strawberries and i always think of um like like that like red and white check i do picnic too. Picnic, picnic summertime and red things. always means yeah. like summertime to us yeah. so we'll obviously Definitely. with the strawberries and in our next social that we'll talk about it after we show our stitching so um, anyways, anyway, so we had our giveaway, and yeah, I, I did a random comment generator. Yes. We'll show what you're going to be getting, and then there's going to be some surprises in there yeah. too. And I decided to put a little basket because you got to have a little basket, right? Little and so I put basket. the little, and then I found I don't know. Do you guys know they make these? These are ball jar. I didn't know they made those. I have, I, you know, they used to make them. Like last year, so but that, look how cute they are. They're actually Where'd ball you get jars, them? like a Michaels or something. Oh, uh, Walmart. Oh, okay. So they're just basically little spicy storage thingies. Super cute. And I put my my favorite strawberry. Not bowl. for preserving, though. It says no. <laughs> Don't can your jam. No. <laughs> and I put my favorite strawberry in there, and in the little frame. Remember, so we know who this is going to. And now. little um, there's oh yeah, there's my. The clothespin. And remember, when Charms you get this. Charms and things. Oh, yeah. Don't poke yourself with my pin. That's my disclaimer. But we know who Did you show your so. salt and pepper shakers? Yeah. And then and the salt and so. pepper shakers. And then Heather's going to make something to go in here, too. So as a surprise for you. You got to get on that because I want to mail this out Monday. All right. <laughs> so... And we're really Jungle. excited for who won because she has commented. <laughs> she comments from on everything. The very beginning, on Instagram. Yes, and, and she makes some really adorable stuff. Yes. So I was excited. So we love to follow her too. So Amy J. I mean, we would are, have been excited I mean, for everybody. Yes. You yeah. are our winner. So congratulations. Go ahead and send us an email um, or message us on yep. Instagram because you follow us on Instagram. Yeah, so wherever, um, let us know where you want us to mail that to your mailing address so we can send out your goodies and hopefully we'll get that out monday if not tuesday i think but monday should be good 
you're going to be busy this weekend. So, yeah, I won't take me right yeah. now. So, congratulations. So congratulations and thank you for all the fun comments. And it's really it was, fun to see where everybody's from. We have a lot of people from Australia that follow us. Somebody from tons Romania. Tons of people from Ohio. Yes, lots of Ohio. Um, Michigan. Lots of Michigan. Yeah, because my husband's from Michigan. So, I'm like, oh. My family was from Michigan. Couple so. Wyoming, I think. Not Wyoming, um, Wisconsin. Yeah. So couple, thank you. Couple that was local-ish, but like mostly other places. A couple from Canada, the UK, and Scotland. lots of Australians. A lot of yes. Australians. So that's exciting. Yep. Yeah. So um, to be honest, I haven't stitched it yet a lot because every time I started to do it, I would end up taking half of it out. I don't know if I was distracted or whatever, but I have stitched a couple things. Because we had really beautiful weather again, so there was gardening going Did on. Did you have that finished before? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, then you show your finish first. I you can want? find the pattern. That's okay. Um, they know what it so is. I just finished it. I finished, and I showed this on my Instagram already too, but I finished the Strawberries and Stripes by With Thy Needle and Thread. Oops. And are you finishing that tin too? No, it's too big. Oh, that's right. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. There, I had kind of an idea, but I think it would be too big. That medallion I thought I would do behind it, but I think that would just be like too mm. too much. Take away from that. Yeah, so I haven't quite decided how I want to finish this yet. I have some really cute little frames too. I know, but I've just been like framing everything. I like it's to kind of what I've been into. Yeah. But I did pretty much all my own colors. Besides the strawberries, because I think she used Ladybug for the strawberries in her pattern, didn't she? I think so. Otherwise, I, did. I didn't even what look did at the colors. What did you use for your I strawberries? Just... Ladybug. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, but a lot of times, I don't even look at the colors. I just pull what I want, and that's what I did here. I changed the green, too. Um, but I think I kept everything else pretty much close, yeah, except for the whatever. wing. It's very cute. I wanted. So. It's Strawberries and Stripes by Brenda Jaray. Um, I don't know what the heck happened to that pattern. I think it's at Heather's house. Somewhere. Yeah, we, we got it somewhere. I don't know. Um, anyway. Yeah, I will. Let me know if you're interested in the colors that I used. I need to start writing that down. I keep saying that. I need to start a journal of my color conversions because I pretty much change everything. So. Well, and I had to go back for that one that I converted and yeah. I really should have wrote it down. Thank you. Okay. But I can let you know what those colors so, are. So, um, was that it? Yes. Okay. Oh, and this is just, what is this? Ew. It's a Lagana. I think we did. Is it you? Well, I didn't mean to it's say It's my you, favorite. But, uh, <laughs> like, oh. Um, we dyed this like four years ago. Yeah. Three years ago. It's like about. a soft aqua green. It actually I is need pretty to good get this right color there. again. I know. Because she keeps telling me to do it and I keep going darker. Mm -hmm. But this is like my favorite to stitch on. It's super thick. The Lugana. And, yeah. And it's it just gets nice when you dye it. I really like stitching on it, too. And I did two over two on that, and it's nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, that was the first time I'd actually completed a one, one over, over one. two. One over or two. Or one over two, yeah. Um, and I was okay with it. I think because they're bright enough colors, they showed up. Yeah. So I have been, I started, I don't think I had started this. No, I hadn't nope. started this. So I started the Berry Keeper. Um, I didn't get very far because, like I said, I would put a leaf in and then have to take the leaf out. So that is um, where I've gotten so far. I changed the green to chives and it's super Jolly cute. Holly, maybe. I'll, if anybody wants to know. It's 40 count. Know. It's 40 count. Um, one over two. That's nice coverage. It really is. I have 40 count. It really is. It's kind of my favorite. However, <laughs> going from this into the other one I'm getting ready to show you, that is tough, especially at night. And I think that's why I've been kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say struggling. Blind and old lady is what it well, is. I'll show this then. Yeah, you show I it. also started the Berry Keeper, and I'm doing one over one yeah. on 25 count. Tiny. Love it. That is so cute. Um, not easy for me. I'm getting, like, it doesn't stitch up quickly when I'm doing it one over one, but that's okay. 
Um, this one's not. And I'm doing all my own colors. You know, and this is the <laughs> same stuff that I used on the the last thing I did. I can't remember. Oh, the daisy. I'm kind of really liking 25 count because I have something else going on here that's one over two or... over two. I mean, it's quite like you can really see the X. I'm kind of into that right but now. But that really I enjoy stitching. the process of stitching on it. Like mm -hmm. it stitches up nice and quick. Not one over one, but um, that oh, is I so really cute, like it. Though. I think I want to get more. 25 count. I have a lot and we my mom dyed this you do have a lot mm -hmm. oh good so this um this is the color we always do it's um two parts kelly green to one part evening blue doesn't I mean red dye red dye whatever amount you're doing um and then I stick it in the jar and I shake it up so that's that's how and when we say this. two part to one part when we do like a I mean, if you're doing Fabric a five-gallon like bucket, you might need a lot more. But yeah. I literally do not even a half a teaspoon to less than a quarter of a teaspoon because I'm doing them in quart jars and I'm doing piece by piece like this. Um, but if you're doing, you know, a big pot of it, then you're going to you'll, you'll want to adjust it out. that. And then sometimes I dilute it with water if I want it lighter. This is kind of or my just do like color. a really quick dip. And mm -hmm. it's better if you just do one small piece at a time for us. Because if we don't want any modeling. Yeah. I if This has ever so slightly. You'd have to be in person to see the actual modeling. And that's what I prefer. Mm -hmm. So anyway. So that was that. That um, And you worked on yours. Yep. Fairy Keeper. Okay. So. And the other thing I worked on was. Um, the American Eagle. Um, I didn't want to bend it too much. Oh, sorry. Um, and that's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? What is that? Uh, Black blackbird bird. design. So, and I'll show you what I'm gonna in this book here. I'm gonna stick it on there. Mine is on the old the the Zvi Art base Confederate gray, so it's not the brownie color. And so this is, that is mystic gray now. Yeah, I think it's mystic gray now. Um, if you can find it. Um, this is the shaker white they're calling for. Ooh. Yeah. And it doesn't go good with this gray color, in my opinion. Um, it's dirty. So I changed the half. <laughs> well, what I, and I tried it there and I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm, no. <laughs> so I'm using bamboo instead. Um, white, white's too white. And so bamboo kind of gives it a, it's hard to tell. You wouldn't be able to tell on there. It does give it a soft, uh, mottled look. Using like khaki mocha or something like that. Mocha. Is that a whitey color? It's very white. Because I love weird this washed like out look. But it really, really turned icky yellow on my gray. It pulled the yellow. Yeah. Out of it. So this is where I'm going to go. This has got to come out. Um, like I said, I'll put stuff in, take it out. This has kind of been the theme of it the last couple. But I love this. And that's what you're... It's hard to go from... This is one over two on 32 count, which is like, I don't know. It's so easy to see. And so, oh, yeah. I thought 30. you were saying you were having a hard time with this one. No. Oh, okay. So then your eyes adjust to these big old holes and then you go jump up to one over two on 40 count. Um, and I stitch mainly at night. Um, Sometimes I can't do 40 count at night. It, it's hard. Um, after I get going, I mean, because normally I normally stitch on 40 count. And I'm like, fine, whatever. But when you're going back and forth between the two, it's been a little rough. So anyway, that's my very small little bit of progress on here. I like this like dusty black frame yeah, that they have it's in. beautiful. I was obsessed with this. I saw Christy from Crosshatch Quilts. Might have been her very first video. She showed hers done. She has it on the more brownie color though, mm. and it's oh, it's just stunning. But I don't have that, so, um, so you know, my house is more gray anyway. It's my neutral instead of tan. Here. So, anywho, that's that. This is fun. This is a fun stitch. If I would get my like one night, I just sat and did all of this. It's really easy. They they have great lettering, so they make it very easy. So that's all I've been stitching on for two weeks. I have started. <laughs> the, is that it? That's your start? And that. Oh, because okay. <laughs> I was doing one over one there. I'm like, I was like nah, thank you. It's going to be teeny weeny. 
So this is The Farmer's Daughter by Little House Needleworks. My mom did the whole piece of this and showed it last week, finished. I wanted to do something with this border here. So I have started stitching that, just playing around with stitching that. I first tried it one over one on this 25 count, but I mean the strawberries are gonna be like itty bitty. So, yeah, cause they're pretty small yeah, as it is. Yeah, yeah, so I've decided to switch. I mean, I'm gonna finish and do something small here. I might do like a little, that'd be cute to do like a little tag for a bag or something. Yeah. Like a project bag with a strawberry or on it. Or even we'll a see. little fob Just or a, something. Yeah, a funky little craft project with that. But I started it as two over two, much bigger and really fun to do. So it's cute. This is such a cute pattern. I really like the chicken. I'm excited to do the chicken, but I'm also, I don't know, it, cause it's gonna be like strawberry flowers, chicken. It's not symmetrical, so I don't know. Are you not putting the basket in the middle? Well, no. Hmm. Okay. Cause the idea I had for it was for it to go around a spool, but this is gonna be far too big for that. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I just wanted to do something bordery and finish it a different way. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It's fun to stitch up though. Did you stitch on your 4th of July stuff? No. no. Oh, okay. No. So that's it with stitching for me. No, I did not. We haven't <laughs> been stitching, we've been sewing, so. We've been sewing a and lot. And cutting, and cutting, and cutting quilts out. So I actually have three quilts I cut out, and then one that we made, so. Yeah. A little one. Um, it's not quite finished, but we're getting there. So now, 21 minutes. Um, yeah. So what are we, how are we going to do Oh, this? how about our plan? Well, do we want to talk about our plans? We'll wait on our plans. Well, our plans after are kind of go in social. with our, um, um, my plan is to actually finish this and the berry keeper because part of our new social will be that related. Okay. I will work on the berry keeper. I'm just gonna work on whips, I think, for cross stitching. Huh? <laughs> yes, I will. Okay. I don't You're think not gonna, gonna start, start anything? anything. You have to start something for May. Okay, so we don't do mania. No. That's gonna be one plan I'm gonna tell you. We don't have, we don't do mania. We drive ourselves crazy enough just um, without being. <laughs> My mania is just gonna be trying to get some things done, I think. I'm I think we should each like start one for our birthday, though. Searching for my, um, my cross-stitch mojo. Yeah, but we need to start one for our birthday. Yeah. And Evie's birthday. Mm-hmm. I know, I know what I'm going to start for Evie's birthday. Do you? Something out of the, the Veronique. Mm -hmm. I have a really awesome book. Um, it's the Fairy Tales Veronique Anjan J book. It's so cool. You should bring it next time. And I'll bring it, it. next it's time. Really I thought cute. about bringing it today, but I'm like, we still we have a lot going on. Yeah, I'll bring yeah. that next time. I think I'll pick out um, a pattern to do. My daughter loves, loves, loves reading like all the time, but all books. So I think I can stitch her up some cute stuff from there, and she'd really like it. She's really into the Wicked Witch right now. Yeah, because she likes the Mickey Mouse. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a book that has the Wicked Witch. She's hilarious. We so yeah, working on whips. Um, I don't know what I'll start for my birthday. What are you starting for your birthday? Mrs. Bingley's library. <gasps> I've been wanting to do it. Um, I have so many seasonal things I feel like going on right now that I really want to stitch some stuff. Um, that's just like. That's going to stay out. For the house. All, well, although the Americana stuff is going to in yeah. my bookcase, so. Well, like berry keeper is not seasonal. It's sewing related. That's true. I think. That's true. Okay, I like I might start I collect. You should. It's super cute. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. It's very cute. Um, so anyways, should we wait? No. What? I'm gonna start but first coffee. <laughs> what is that? By Brenda Drew. She's it she's the one oh, she's in no, her no, coffee no. cup. Yeah, because you need that for your kitchen. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to start for my birthday in May. But that'll be like after <laughs> the our next video. you said that, it was funny. <laughs> Why? Like, what? Because I, I was know. like thinking, Wait, I have I'm all these cup ones. Wait, I'm going to start butt first. <laughs> 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 what? 
<laughs> butt first coffee. Yes. Ew. Like, well, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I totally forgot she had that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so that'll be your birthday story. Yeah, I think so. And I actually will probably start it <laughs> May first. Um, because we're both we're both May May twentieth here. Yeah, my daughter's May fourteenth. We might not get anything done. We've got a lot of birthdays coming up. <laughs> we have a lot of birthdays. A birthday. I have to get a whole vegetable garden party it's dug up, and put I gotta in. get sod ripped out of my yeah. front yard. We got a lot coming up. So, so I have family coming. Oh yeah, in their travel trailer <laughs> soon. Anyway, <laughs> okay, they so feel like we, it, so. apparently we're skittish today. So, anywho, not skittish, skittery. Flittery. Flittery. We're flitting. <laughs> so we want to show you what our next, what do we decide the name was going to be? Okay, you announce it then. Well, let's hold up our little, our finishes. Oh, wait, what? Our thing we made from, and let's see if you guys can guess what it's going to be. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> can you guess? Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite things I've ever made. It's so cute. So we are doing Star Spangled Social. And it is going to go coincide right along with Strawberry Social because... These never end. Never end. Um, but to us, summer is, you know... Patriotic. Patriotic. But that being said, we did Star Spangled because... If you're from Australia, Australia, you don't do stars and stripes, or right? I don't know. Oh gosh, I do they do? Looked. Do they do star spangled? Oh, I don't know. Anything patriotic in, in for summer. your country works. Yeah, celebrate your whatever. Celebrate summer, even though they're going into fall, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> but you can still make Anything summer stuff, right? Like, <laughs> she keeps like putting hers in front of mine. Mine's super cute. Mine is all Lori Holt fabric. Did you do that too? So no. this little flag is a freebie. Is a freebie on Lori Holt's blog. This it's, is her sparkler block. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the July 4th block. She did it with her vintage sew along where she made blocks out of all kinds of vintage, I think from her grandmother's sewing basket. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And this was the July 4th. And yours block. is all Lori Holt? Mine is all Lori Holt. Mine is not. Mine's all kinds. Yeah, it is. Um, so I just thought I had this pinned for a long time and I thought this is perfect and it's a freebie that you can go to her blog and so on. It's not hard at all. Um, this block has a lot of pieces in it, but if you take your time, look how cute it turns out. Label when you're doing this Label. block, because when she does it initially, she does it, it's like different colors on the inside and then the background. And so you're kind of switching back and forth between two blog posts to do this one. Just I would just time. sit down and label it yeah. first. Um, but the block itself is not hard. No. It's, it was my brain. And you can do it however you want. You could do even like white heavy. You could actually just put a star. You yeah. could just put a plain floral or whatever up there. But look how cute that's going to be. Do any block this size. So yeah. I don't have a lot of patriotic. I don't, I don't think I have any patriotic, um, you know, this kind of thing. For decor, I got rid of a lot of my stuff when we bought this house. What are you doing with this? Just making it into a little mini quilt. quilt I was hoping out. to have it quilted and bound, but I hope for a lot of things that don't get done right And away, hers on her blog didn't have the, the uh, border because the border. it's put into a sampler quilt. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to bind this, mm -hmm. so I put it around, and, and now it really stands thing. out. So I love it. Mine, I think the only Lori Holt fabric I have is this one up top. The rest of these fabrics, for the most part, I got in a haul that I'll show you. I don't you. share my Lori Holt. She has to buy her own. Yeah. <laughs> because these like are, like, them. longer pieces. Yeah, because when you buy a fat quarter bundle, it and we pre-washed. What are these, so 21 inches, I think? 20 and a half. 20 and a half inches, and so yeah, I was cutting these out of something before I started another project this week. This is that um, Liberty fabric from My Mind's Eye. Most of this up here, these, this is Pam, old Pam Kitty Morning. That I stole from my mom. Some Sandy Gervais. Some of that strawberry honey and strawberry. Oh, yeah. But look how cute This is the they Oh dear, dear Christmas. This literally is an afternoon to put together. This was, I cut it out and sewed all the strips together during nap time. 
and then worked on this at night. And I would have done it quicker if I had taken it. Yeah, I mean, literally a couple hours, I'd yeah. say. It was fun, and it'll it be fun. cute to put out um, for the summer. So that is our first thing. Go to so the um, Star Spangled Social. And I still haven't figured out how to pop up words on the video. So she worked on that. Anybody but... has advice on that in <laughs> iMovie? I don't know. Well, let me know. And I'm not computer illiterate. She's not. I am. All. I didn't. I'm I not just, even going to try. For some reason, I can't figure that. I can't figure out how to pop a word up on the screen without it being at the very beginning of the video and continuing through to the end. Oh, you mean just stay in there? It's a title. Oh. So it like is a title at the beginning. I can't move it. But I'm doing it on an iPad. I think that's my issue. I'm using Maybe that's the app and I'm not on a computer doing it. So. And we try I'll to get these loaded out. like right away. So. Yeah. Um. We just don't really have time to do that. So, anywho. So, the first Back to Cross Stitch. Do, yeah, back to Cross Stitch. So, I have a collection that I've kind of um, been collecting for the last couple years because we knew we wanted to um, start making stuff. Uh, I mean, I had patriotic stuff, but it was more like I had little flags tucked in things and not a lot of homemade stuff, which I've really been, you know, you see everybody's on Instagram, all the cute stuff they've made. Right. So. So that's, now we're going to have our little quilt. Well, and we started with our Walmart quilt. We do have our Walmart quilt. Yeah. That will be quilted. Oh, I'm going to grab it. So if you, you're new here, you can see our Walmart quilt. Yeah. Our both of, mine's here too, right? I don't think so. I shipped it home, didn't I? Did you? Yep. I don't have it. Why would we have done that? I'm basting it here. I don't know. Oh, Got to find that So home. anyway, so the first thing I'll show you um, that will be quilted is our Walmart quilt. And we I made one too. The reason we call and it's big, it's really big. Um, we kept seeing all this cute um, fabric at Walmart. The little mini super rolls. Super inexpensive. Um, Did they sell a fabric? But we thought it would be fun. This it's actually doubled this size. Um, we thought it would be fun to have a picnic blanket. It's a square. Yeah, it's yeah. big. And so this is this is our Walmart quilt. Um, so this is going to be one thing that's going to be quilted over the next. Well, we got hours. the idea from the old. Chelsea and Priscilla videos. Yeah. They used they to make quilts like this at the beginning where they would get the, the seasonal fabric from Walmart and just make the scrappy yeah. ones. Super cute. Which I love. These are my favorite. If you, if I look back at quilts, I made patchwork. Yeah. yeah. I, I love patchwork. You can use so many fun fabrics and put them all together and they look amazing. So this will be one thing that we finish. Hopefully in the next, we, we have to wait for good weather. <laughs> I spray based. I hate to pin based. So I actually hate to spray base too because it stinks. But um, anyway. We, we, hate <laughs> <laughs> we hate basting. I've but, never done it. I have quilt tops finished. I've do. never finished a quilt in its entirety. I have finished tons of quilts in, the, in its entirety. <laughs> and um, I've just now started it's chipping them off to... Um, a quilter and but not for like a Walmart not quilt. we would and, and not for my little flag and we're going to show our best friends quilts later on so that we yeah, finally finish mine. so anyway so I wanted to show you some of the patterns that we've been collecting to do um patriotic stuff I'll show you mine first because I have one oh Madame Chantilly <laughs> I have that too I just didn't pull it out that you know that I've started <laughs> and have gotten just like this part of the tray done. <laughs> None of the things on it, just the tray. So the things we're going to show you doesn't mean we're necessarily going to do them this year. It's no, just but these are of, ideas for yeah, you. Yeah. So, and as you know, what I'm going to do is after I finish this one, I'll start another one in here because I love every single one. I want to do them all. So this is definitely in my plans. Lori Holt showed this one as a little pillow. It's just the cutest thing ever. Didn't she do this one too? Did she? I'm pretty sure she did that one with the um, distressing spray. Okay. Didn't she? Someone did. Yeah. This know. is the one I would want to do first out of this book. Let's hold this up a little bit closer. Sorry. And by the way, Lori, I wish I was your neighbor. But we'd get in trouble because yeah. I we'd, I I want to go antiquing with her. She finds the cutest stuff ever. <laughs> Those velvet My house would be I was a like, filthy oh. disaster because I'd never be doing anything. <laughs> so that would that's one, and that is my plans. And these are just ones. Everybody's probably seen them, but if you haven't, um, it's ones we've collected. 
I oh, love that I love one. That one. Yeah. They changed my mind. I want to do that one. <laughs> Next. For this one, for the patriotic. Oh, probably. okay. Well, we'll see. So we'll there's see that one. <laughs> I, I, these are all market releases, I think, from last year, maybe. Maybe I'll get my I had to have them because that's all back. I was going to do was going to cross stitch, you know, patriotic. Um, and I don't know, you know, this one. Oh, see, I love that one so much. This one with the red ticking star. These are all Brenda Trevay. And then I have this one. Was it Christy that just finished this from Crosshatch Quilts? She holds it back so far. Sorry. She speaks quietly and wants you to see her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Which everybody's Stacey, seen. Stacey yeah. Nash. I'm not starting this one because I have the Christmas one going. I just would want the house. I know. That's my dream house. I want to live in that house. I mean, just stitch the house, maybe. So um, then we have, Super you know, cute. everybody's Sorry, seen the Blackbird that. designs. I just want this in a frame all by itself. I'm not going to put it on a box. I just want this. That's full coverage. Pretty close. Yeah, it is. It's not big. It's not? No, it's not big. I mean, I wouldn't want to do it. That's a, a good TV, like TV yeah, watching. Yeah, like. because you would just... The, yeah, it, it wouldn't well, be. I say that, and I can mess anything up mm -hmm. lately. So there's the <laughs> other one, and then you know the July. Just hand it to me. Okay, <laughs> sorry, it's because of my vision, man. I see better from this distance back. I can see that very well. Look at the lobster, Ginger Shoal. When she showed her finish last year, look at this little postage stamp. It's the cutest. I love Prairie Schooler, um, but this is my this is my favorite favorite favorite. When you see it done up, um, the, the pictures, crab. yeah, the pictures, the pictures are kind of blurry on here. I'm from the Oregon coast, so it's kind of kind of cool. It's kind of oh, yeah, that's like the sea head there. Yeah. Anyway, so here's another one that I got last year. This is not Heather's favorite. It's very. <laughs> Oh, what is the word? It's prim. I love it so much. The bicycle and the... <laughs> it's not her style, no. but I love it so much. I would do this on a very I do tiny like the camp. little like wine barrel with plants in it. The basket? Or is that a basket? Yeah. That's cute. I love it. I like it. the plants and the pots. She doesn't like people <laughs> sometimes. Oh, I'm particular She has a hard time people. with that. So I love it. I think it's in fact I've never stitched a person. The this berry keeper is gonna be my first one. And when you that's see it, I've always loved I think the berry creeper, but creeper keeper. <laughs> the berry creeper. <laughs> but I um would never bring myself to buy it because there was just something about the person I'm like, oh and I love them. They're yeah. so cute. So we're gonna cut Pause this off for a now. second and we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We're back. So continuing on with my collection, I showed this last time. Um, yeah, they're pretty much all on the back. I'm sure everybody's <gasps> got their coat. Oh, that one's just gorgeous. I know, and that's the one I want, the denim blue. Um, fabric. Fabric, so. Yeah. I will get to this one first before I do. I love them all, but, well, <laughs> no, we love, th I love that one. I just don't, I can't see it fitting in anyway. I, th I think if my husband had been navy, maybe. Let me see it again. So, well, I don't know. But anyway, I want to do this one first. So that is another one. And we, we're probably not going to get to all of these, I'm sure. But then I also have some super cute embroidery patterns. You want to take that one out? Um... I got this about a year and a half ago. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I have to make one of these this year. I want every single one I of them. I love ball fringe. I love everything about it. But look at the, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And in this flag, look, there's like little buntings and flowers. I mean, how cute is that? And the little watermelon pillow, right somewhere. I can't do it. I don't know what's wrong with me. But look how cute they are. And it's by Bare Roots. They have um, this, this kind seasons. of thing. They have, um, I have the Thanksgiving one I'll show in the fall. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And so then after I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get on their website and check. But so these will be a you little bit. You could do this so many different styles. Mm -hmm. Like this doesn't you, have to be red, white, and blue. You could do sunflowers. You yeah. could do zinnias. You could do valentines. 
You could really prim these up with yeah. some darker. Or make it like aqua. I mean, look at the little white. firecracker-like thing, but it's a vase with flowers. You could do a regular watermelon colors. Look at that mm -hmm. rickrack on that watermelon. I know. It's it's precious. So anyway, that's a Bare Roots. But check it out. They have Halloween and other ones, too, on their website. So Super cute. Yep. This is this is a must. We have to do one of these. Yeah. So also um, on my plans, um, kind of to us, well, Heather this year, she's jumping in. Geraniums are my favorite flower. Yeah. Um, I hate the way they smell. I love the smell. It smells like summertime to me. So we're actually going to add geraniums in, too, because I want to see all the patterns with geraniums. And for Karen, because Karen. And our Star Spangled. Yeah. Anything with geraniums, yeah. too. Because it. I don't know if you guys, uh, everywhere does it, but here, um, when it gets closer to the 4th of July, you see these huge pots with red geraniums, and then they have white trailers and purple trailers going off the sides. I mean, it's just like an explosion of fireworks. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. So geranium house will be a start that I start. Maybe for I'll do Star that. Spang for your 4th of July start? Yeah. You said no, that. No, no, no. Not 4th of July. Your I'm birthday? Like, yeah. Yeah. May 1st, I'll do Geranium House because I love it. Well, it's it just a little Memorial house. Day, too. Yeah. And they're so yeah. cute. It's adorable. A friend of mine. Um, I do like red, white, and blue pots. I was never a big red flower person, but now I'm just, and I used to hate geraniums. Oh, I love them. But now I love them. Last year, I wasn't able to get the red, red. I like the deep red ones. I bought seeds. Did you? Mm-hmm. I was well, only what really got me white. into them was Garden Answer because when she planted them, just seeing the little, when they're tiny little baby seedlings, they have the little baby geranium leaves. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> they're so cute. They've always been my favorite. I have them in yeah. all my window boxes when I had window the boxes. Oh, <laughs> I love them. But anyway, so we're adding that in too because so, I want to see what you guys can find. I'm doing Geranium House and it's by... Little house needleworks, I think. So I don't have it in here. I'm Here's the other one she has it. that is embroidery. Crab Apple Hill. Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. And again, don't think we're doing all of these. We're just giving you guys ideas for <laughs> for this. We've social. had that pattern for ten years. I'd say. I know. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Weren't you in high school when we got that? I think so. Did yeah. we get it down in Centralia at yeah, that one store? We did. I remember it. Yeah. So that's another one. Super cute. And this one I may have bought last year, but I think it's a couple years old in the good old summertime. That's when I bought that grandma's kitchen, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. At the same time. I don't remember. But how cute are these? Now that would be a dream retreat to me, to go to a... Crab apple. apple. I, although would I wouldn't like... get anything done. I'd just sit there and stare at all the... Oh, there's geraniums. Yeah. But you could just do this little picture with the flags in it. Mm -hmm. it would be super cute. Cute. Love it. So there are our, that's my little collection of kind of summertime. I'm not going to, I mean, patriotic, yes, but it can be, I guess most of them are. Well, red, white, and blue together. It doesn't have to be patriotic. I mean, I know it is, but to those us, colors it's summertime. go I, really and We're well actually, together. I'm going to be doing all these things that whatever I pick out um, till August 1st. Till, and then we'll. Then, then things will shift into a... There we go. It was different. May 20th, 2013. Oh, so that we bought that. There you go. <laughs> wasn't quite as long On my as birthday. I Seven years ago. So those are my little collection of things that, you know... Eight. That I want to... Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to just stick them in a bag and just kind of... I love to just go through them. So we've decided that we just... We purchase a lot of stuff in the season mm -hmm. two, so... But... I am looking forward to seeing what other what other people have for and suggestions. Like like um like I found out from Lisa, Lisa Abby's Needleworks. These go right along with our strawberry. Well, and so and I want oh this that one. was another plan. Yeah, they all kind of go together. That's so. patriotic and strawberries. Um, Agnes Platt. I decided because I was going to do it all in DMC, but I thought, oh, okay, well. I got online because someone told me where you could find all the flosses. So I have those on order because I saw Lori's and I really want to do them in Overdyed. So mm. I, I ordered the flosses. So that will be started as soon as those come in. They should be actually in the mail today. So all strawberries and patriotic because to us, this goes hand in hand. It's summertime. Hold in here. So I made something. Or do you want to, let's, 
We'll do the best friends later. Yeah. Let's finish up with the social stuff. Um, I made something that kind of went along with that. I actually made two things. Um, I think I copied this completely from Christy. Yes. Because at Crosshatch Quilt. Yes. I actually had bought this fabric to make a quilt out of last year. Um, and right after that, I was it her one, maybe one of her first, if not her first video, she showed a bag. How to, this is to me the most beautiful summertime fabric. This is your patriotic. This style. is how I like patriotic. I'm um, softened up a little bit. Um, I love it. But anyway, so I made a. This is going to hold my patriotic summertime using doesn't match completely, but I'm using scraps out of, you know, whatever. What's the back? In the back. And I made this one a little bit bigger. What's this fabric? It's Mackinac, Mackinac yeah. Island. By um, and Simpson. And they have a new line coming out in August. It's called Belle Isle. And I'm not going to be stupid and not buy it this time. All I did was <laughs> I bought, and it's so much like this. It has the same vibe. I've kind of been looking through my books to see what I'm going to make with it to see how much I have to. I've been to Mackinac Island, and it's beautiful. I haven't been there yet. <laughs> I, I will, though. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it's super cute. So I'm giving Christy total credit because i'm pretty sure i saw this exact bag on yeah hers. but she also showed one i think on her was that her first quilt she just recently switched her videos oh gosh, right she yes. quilts she does like quilt and floss tube separately and i think it was in her quilt one she has another project bag she did that has um like a white and blue and white star block is it the right? same fabric, fabric? it's beautiful you have to check out well, check out her. You, I'm sure you I have videos, enough but. fabric. I bought charm squares to make a, what kind of like my Walmart quilt, um, out of this fabric. Mm -hmm. But I was just starting getting back into, um, quilting. It was early, early last year when I was ordering all the things just so I would have it. Made this just exactly like we do our bags. So if you want to see that, what was that, number 11? Number 11, we talk about how we do our bags I don't at the do very a tutorial, end of the video. Because I might, I, Let's not say it. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> that is one thing I made. Um, I need to make a patriotic project bag. So that is do. on my and plans. This, this and this is I bigger have than one our mind. normal um, by one square. I know oh, that's mind. right. Because you wanted it to fit your Blackbird it has to design fit, books. Yeah. And, and so, and actually, because Brenda and Laura are going to do the first weekend of every month, um, the Blackbird. Yeah. What did they, what are they calling that? Blackbird stitch along it, I think. So. We'll look, we'll look yeah. at that hashtag for you. So that'll make me work on these on the weekends, right? I got to go close that window. Okay. So she's going to close the window. So I've been wanting to do this. I, I made a quick craft um, because, like I said, I didn't really have any patriotic um, decorations. And so I saw I made this to go in my bookcase, actually probably on a... I'm going to probably put this on an easel in the back. Or like and a then, plate. Yeah, stand a or little stand. Yeah. To go in the back of my bookcase that's going to have all our, my husband's military pictures and his flag and all that in there. So I saw something like this. This actually cost me, the frame was a whopping $3.99 at the Goodwill. Um, <laughs> that's how we say Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill. Um, this is an old piece of... Um, Twelve that I've had forever, and this is one of those flags that you get on a stick. What are they like? Twenty five cents. They're or like something? nylon. Yeah, they're weird. Um, they fade in the sun. Those ones. Yeah. So that's what I did. I zigzagged around it and I stuck it in a frame. I did put SF one hundred one on the back so you couldn't see the flowers too much because this is like weirdy, super like almost like gauzy. So this project cost me less than five bucks, but I think it's and really it looks pretty. expensive. It looks <laughs> well. I had seen something like this in an antique store oh. um, years ago, and I just saw it and what I was like, "Oh, you could oh. tea dye this. Probably not this material." I wanted it to really stand out, though. I know, sure but I mean, could. you could do like sure if you're you not could. into the white white. But you can get those too. That's true. You can get them, or you could make it look older yeah. too. 
I know that's been not your style. On, I've been on the hunt for a vintage flag. They're very hard to find. Um, I don't know if people, I think they destroy them like they're supposed to. Um, so it's hard. Appropriately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Appropriately. So you yeah. don't find a lot of flags in antique stores and stuff that I've been looking for. So I saw one, something like this um, at an antique store a long time ago, and I've been wanting to do this ever since. And they had a like a vintagey little flag in it on some wallpaper, and they wanted $185 for it. In a frame a little bit bigger than this. Oh, sorry, Etsy shop. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not I'm doing just that. Kidding. <laughs> we don't do that. So anyway, I love it. And I put it on the blue wall. Um, and it'll be beautiful in my bookcase with you Super know cute. if you want a quick and it doesn't matter, you can put any flag here. You could and actually what I was thinking, how cute it would be, was let's see. Yeah, you could do a cross stitch in the middle instead. Do this. Oh one. yeah, that's a good idea. So I don't know. I after I do this, I may pop this off, but I zigzagged around it. But I mean, I wanted a really quick craft that I could show you guys that I've been putting off for years. I mean, and it I, took five minutes. No, Not, no, it didn't. Well, no, I had to zigzag around. It may have, may have taken ten. <laughs> it's on sticky board. I just stuck it on sticky board. Um, but you could do any kind of really. And you could use scrapbook paper about zigzagging. Don't forget to take your zigzag foot off of your sewing machine and expect it to be a quarter inch foot. <laughs> yeah. She'll show you what block. she did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am showing what I did. So I think it turned out really pretty. It's I really pretty. I like it. Yeah. So. But just like imagine how versatile it is. You can do anything with it. Yeah. See, and I like framing. I frame a lot of stuff without a lot of bows and extra because I don't have a lot of wall space and so when I display something it's going to be tucked behind something or stuck on a tiered tray or so I don't need a lot of the extra because I'm going to decorate around it I have this is going to go the background for a lot of cross stitch in front of it um and like I said my husband's flag is in a case so which I this think would even be really cool if you had because I know you can find a lot in antique stores like those very old like college pendants Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be really cool. I mean, you know, super easy. Quick. Sticky board on there. I zigzagged around that, but you could you could just glue it on there. Or if iron, do like an iron on. That's true. You could mm -hmm. I you could have done iron on. I Does wanted it, the zigzag look. This kind of flag? No. Okay. I mean, don't, you know, test it. I yeah, mean, I mean, yeah. So <laughs> I did, it's just it the, the weirdest. Actually, I just stuck the fabric. iron over it, and it just, you know, it is. It's like gauzy kind of stuff. But I think it's cute. Anyway, so that's my $5 craft to show you guys this time. Um, I don't know if I have. We'll see. I might come up with something oh. else. But that's kind of my first. Should I do this next? Um, yeah, because, well, I do have, yeah, because is that your, that's kind of going to go for both, right? Because that's kind of red, white, yes. and blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. For your summer, yeah. So. Are we done with cross-stitching? Yeah, I think we're done. Um Okay. For the rest of this, we're looking to talk about sewing. So, um, if you're not interested in that, we'll they're see interested. In two weeks. So let's just <laughs> you guys are interested, right? Because it all kind of goes together. But I'll just talk about this next. Yeah, right? you do. So we talked about last time that we are starting a sew along with Nancy Woolsey at So Cozy. Nope, Nancy Woolsey on YouTube and So Cozy Stitching on Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I linked her in the last video, and I'll try and link her again. We are starting a quilt along on Mother's Day, American Mother's Day, May 9th, um, Quiltyville QAL. So hashtag Quiltyville QAL. And someone started that already. Yes. And it's so pretty. Who was that? Rob's? Nope. Dance Forever Love. Dance Forever Love. Yes. We love it. Um... So any of these Thimble Blossoms Vils, we're just doing the summer Vill, but there is an autumn Vill. For now, because yeah. is going on This is on ongoing, forever. ongoing, starting May 9th or whenever you want to start it. And also, I wanted to say, if you have one done up, go ahead and post it, yeah. even if you did it two years ago. I've had somebody um, do that with Strawberry Social that I've shared, where she finished Strawberry Stuff last year, and she's gone, and she's added the hashtag on her, yeah, definitely. On her um, pictures because now, gives, so we it, can show people ideas. Especially for this, because I think it would be nice to have some ideas color ideas. For people. Yeah. Um, I'm doing mine in Catalina from 
Fig tree. Gosh, darn it. Brain fade. So yeah, Somerville, Autumnville, Winterville, Springville, whatever you want to do, any of the Vills. By and post Camille. them so we can see them and, give, and inspire other people to pick fabrics. These and are I, the fabrics I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, when I was, I don't know, 20? First starting to really when collect. When I was first starting to collect fabric, I was obsessed with the... 30s. Aunt Gracie's yeah. and 30s reproduction fabrics. And I have a ton of them. But I pulled all my red, white, and blues recently because I wanted to do a patriotic type. I've always loved a vintage patriotic look for summertime. Me too. But I, I'm i going to commit and use these for my Somerville. When she brought that pile over today, I'm like, oh At first I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use them for that. We're trying to be better about but, that. But I'm going to do it. Because there's going to be tons of scraps left over. And I have at least and I can that find, much. And, and I can find more. We can. We can. What am I doing? Yeah. If I can cut my Lori Holt fabric, I can cut my vintage collection. It really makes me want to do one like that. And we've talked about how we're not doing the border like this on here. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do border-wise, but... Just find nice. a really cool red daisy or something. Yeah. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. This I one do. even has kitty cats on it. Mm. Oh, there's green in that. That's okay. We'll have to see. You'll never see it. I know. But um, Now you're being like me. Oh <laughs> I know. I need to stop that. I don't know I'm if anybody else is like I just like, like go this. for it. Yeah, but. She's like this. When I make even like my little strawberry pillow, when I'm done in here and the pillow's this big, this place is a wreck because I have to get out absolutely every fabric that She's I think I'm. compared to me. Well, no, but mine's because I'm being so particular about... Oh, She's no. just... I'm a chaos worker. Yeah, no. Like, my living room and my dining room and my kitchen's, like, exploded because I'm sewing one little thing. And but I now have it's, like, contain it in. You really triple don't. fold because my daughter also likes to have... I have this big container of fabric she just likes to get down and dump out and go through and lay in it. So she does that on the floor... While I'm well, when she does that here, because she has a whole like I she's got a part. system, <laughs> yeah, which is kind of why I didn't get a whole lot done because they've been spent. She'll call me, go Gamma's house and pay. Yeah, so I'm like, sure, you know, you pick, you pick baby she had over. A good time at home yesterday though, yeah. and I finally could clean a little bit. So that is your plan for that. What and we so, were what were we talking about? Oh, picking out fabric. Yeah, yeah. she struggles with committing to fabric. No, I struggle with finding the perfect one. And it's See, because I, don't do it that I way. have like, yeah, too much good. to choose from. That's why. Yeah, I mean, I do too, though. But I'll be like, yeah, that looks good. And then I try and just go with it. And usually I love what. I've been, I've been better. Yeah, it takes me a little bit. But... So my plan, um, this is my July 4th start. I had said it at the beginning of the year that I bought this kit last year. Um, this will be started in July. It's not going to be finished this year, I'm sure, because oh, Heather has to <laughs> Heather has to show up close. But um, it doesn't look it doesn't look hard. There's just a lot of little yeah, pieces lot because pieces. I have been cutting out my swoon for two weeks and it's all cut <laughs> out. So I cut out my swoon, I cut out my gingham quilt, and I cut out the strawberry social. And I'll show them next time because now I have them all cut out. That is no joke. There is a lot of pieces to a swoon quilt. I thought the strawberry would be a lot, but that swoon quilt, whew. Let's see if we can, where is it? It's behind you. Don't you dare pick that up. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's like that <laughs> thick of cut pieces. So so I imagine this will be um, a lot of cutting, but it'll be fun. Um, July, 4th of July starts. Um, I'm not going to commit to any other one. I do have the fabric from... The Mackinac Island that is just going to be scrappy, but I really I bought this kit last year and I really need to get started on it because I think it's beautiful. Yes, and I love that softened look for um, Fourth of July. This is going to be a long video, guys, but I don't care. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun, and so I was gifted by Nancy, um, Nancy Woolsey, Nancy Woolsey. My granddaughter loves to say your name, Nancy. Remember she was bouncing <laughs> yeah. on her, Nancy Woolsey, Nancy Woolsey. It was so cute. She just thinks it's cool. So <laughs> she sent us, um, because she's doing her Quiltyville out of um, 
Kimberbell's, this is Kimberbell's red. Yes, white she posted that blue. on her Instagram. Go her watch her stack. video if you haven't watched it yet, because um, it's going to be adorable. I mean, I can So she had it. an extra panel. Yeah, because she had bought two different um, sets of these. So she sent us this to do. It's so cute. So, I mean, totally go see summer. It doesn't have to be 4th Ooh, of July. It's, sorry. It's barbecue. <laughs> and these are our colors here for, for summertime. Plop in a big pot of red geraniums mm -hmm. and white bacopa trailing down and this hanging over it. It's going to be so cute. So, euphorbia. Thank you, Nancy. We're going to have fun doing this. Oh, yeah. We're into yeah. euphorbia. Um, so We've been that. spending a lot of time at garden centers. Too. We have. So, so now our weather's back to like 50 degrees and raining. And so. we need that because yeah. I need to so get. So now we can clean our houses. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, I love your laundry. Centers. I haven't been really buying a whole lot, but no, because that just means a lot of upkeep before it's actually plantable. So I think that is it on. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I made something. Heather finished something. So we finished our best friend. Quiz. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, I had some repairs to do on mine and I changed up the middle and she did. But I did make something super cute. Well, and I have all these, too. What? Oh, yeah. You want to do that next? Yeah. So anyway, join us for the Star Spangled Social. She'll link that in Strawberry Social because they're going, like I said, hand in hand. Um, Just forever. 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 So anytime you see um, something patriotic, red, white, and blue, patriotic for your own country. It because, doesn't have yeah. to be USA. No, um, not at all. That's why we just anything started. Anything with strawberries. Star Spangled. Cause geraniums. Just, whatever. And that, remember... For a strawberry social, we did home decor, um, yes. any sort of Tear crafting. Tree ideas. Um, there was a lot of cute ones. Gardening. Ones. If you do red, white, and blue potted flowers, oh my gosh, tag yeah. us for that because we'll do that too. Yeah. When we get our... That's true. When it's warm enough to do our annuals. I actually have yeah. a bunch of geraniums on my porch. We can't put them out. If yet, you make a cute fruit pizza that's shaped like a flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those Let are us fun. see. <laughs> yeah, because we got a lot of recipe ideas, yeah. too. So that was fun. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. Anyway, so I, I made something for... I thought I was doing this. Do you Simmer. Know? All right. <laughs> you can show it first. But I'm a loser on this. So right. I, I with am bang. joining in... On Lori Holtz. Red quilt sampler. Red quilt, red sampler quilt. You know the one that she's been posting from all of her books. Red and white sampler. Yes. Cool. We'll link that. You all know the red and white sampler. So I have done all of week one and I've cut out week two. So here... She did this as a six inch block. I decided to do this as a 12 inch block. And I did the sunflower one as six inch because I really like this block. And I really love that. Good one. thing I really love this block because it's I did it twice. Team. Because, did you notice yeah, this one's smaller the and Wonka man. Doodle? I still had my zigzag foot on my machine and I couldn't Which figure is out. <laughs> probably more closer to a three eighths instead of. And so, like, I was Look cutting this out and sewing it together, and, like, things were just so weird and not lining up right. And I measured it, and I'm like, why is this square 11 inches when it's supposed to be 12? 11 inches in some spots. In other spots, not so much. And I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, well, I'll just redo it. And then I realized I had the wrong foot on my sewing machine. Makes a big difference, doesn't Makes it? Makes a huge difference. So, I'm going to make this into, uh, my daughter already walks around with it saying dolly quilt. So I'm making this into a little dolly quilt for her. It'll be really cute. Like, look at how bad that is. Well, they weren't, they'll never line up because it's not made to do that. So when well, you have the wrong foot. I on. mean, it's still pretty good and for it's cute. it being an absolute wrong foot. You can embroider if you look a couple at the points. I was thinking things. about it. I like threw a strawberry applique on there too big. I'm going to do something different with this, I think. But there's my, my first pancake. That goes in the garbage normally. Do you do that when you make pancakes? What is a pancake? You know when you make pancakes, the first one always goes in the garbage. Oh, because it just yeah, never it works right. That's no. my first pancake. <laughs> I'm like what? Here's the the good one, and I love it. It's very cute. This is all new fabric that I got. Well, in and she did her scrappy, scrappy. Yes. So some of it, some of the squares I've done scrappy, scrappy. 
where it makes sense when I'm cutting it. This is just white on white. You can't really see different tone on tone, white on whites in the background. Um, I did not have very many. I do have a lot of B backgrounds, but they were mostly in the blue and yellow. I didn't have any red and I already bought all these red fabrics, so I didn't want to go back and buy a bunch of backgrounds, but I have a ton, on a ton of tone on tone. I love it like that though. I do too. I love tone on tone white. So there's that one, sorry. And then, like I said, I switched, I did this one a six inch block instead of the 12 inch block. And I did not do this one as scrappy just because of the cutting directions on it. I just, um, I thought, oh, I'll just go. I love it's kind of scrappy. Block. Um, cause hers is, you know, one color, one color, and then a different one in the middle. I just did, you know, kind of funky, super cute. You're doing really good. Thanks. And this one. I know. I love really that one. That's all Lori Holt fabric, right? Um, this one is here. This is just, I think this is a, an old like lake house dry goods. Oh, really? With that strawberry one I had um I only <laughs> sorry if you hear <laughs> my husband Bulgaria she never hear come out of his mouth he's ever. like on the phone and so he has to talk like amplified so I just want to tell you one quick thing that I've been doing when I'm doing these because I am a flitterer I've decided and I talked about this just briefly on my Instagram yesterday I have an old quilt whip that's just a nine patch that I have pinned together to use as my leaders and enders on my sewing machine. So I'm doing two projects at once and it keeps me kind of focused on what I'm doing because really? I feel like I'm doing a bunch of different projects and I'm doing the same thing when I'm cutting because I'm cutting a scrappy border for that whip. I'll cut for one block and then I'll cut a bunch of scrappy pieces and then I'll cut the other block and I cut a bunch of scrappy pieces. It's kind of why I cut three different quilts out at one mm -hmm. time is so I can kind of work on. And it really, hmm. having a leader and ender really helps me. Maybe I'll do the gingham quilt as a leader. You should. I'll do that. Because I'm just like, I so feel like I'm really getting a bunch done. Want to see how far I got on mine? <laughs> I have it picked out. I had an issue. Oh, I'm cute. using a lot of old, old, old red and white. Um, and I pre-wash, as you guys know. Um, <laughs> and I had major bleeding issues. Yes. So as I washed, um, I took one piece out. It's like, well, maybe that's the culprit. Maybe. Did you keep that? Keep your color catcher? No. It was bad. These are all quilt shop fabrics. These are not Walmart fabrics. But different ages. And they're old. Of Some fabric, of my yeah. fabric is 20 plus years old. So I think I've got it narrowed down to these now. There's some, you'll need to take some of that yeah. for your, for your quilty bill. Um, so these are what I'm going to do. Um, that's this weekend. I can finally maybe, I don't have that in there. maybe start to, um, catch up, but it's in a cute, really cute basket and it just sits there like that. I'm going to do mine all in this, um, B background. Is this a B background? Yes. It's B cross stitch. Right? Yeah. B cross stitch. Yeah, yeah. So, um, that's. My red and white. I definitely want to do it. It's going to be because I have so many quilts cut out right now that I had planned. That'll stretch out probably for the whole summer for me, the red and white one, I would imagine. They're fun to do those blocks. Some of them, the churn dash one took me quite a long time. I mean, I had to make two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was that's a lot of pieces. So and I thought that the taffy one would work up pretty quickly and that the sunflower one would take a while. The sunflower one took me no time at all. It was so easy to do. They were all easy. Um, but the um, when I was reading the instructions on the taffy one, which is all the flying geese, I just, I don't know where my mind was at. I had to redo it several times. I sewed things together where I should have been marking them. I marked where I should have been sewing. I don't know, but it turned out really cute. <laughs> Just kind of like my cross so stitch. pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> I had to keep taking them out. So um, I made a really cute thing. I made a tomato. You pole. made two of them? I made two of them. The other one's in the living room because I made it for my granddaughter because um, it has the instructions to cut so two of these at one time. So cute. But this is my contribution to Tomato Tuesday that really turned into Tomato, tomato Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I cut the tomato out on Tuesday, though. I had every intention. We just have a lot on right now, so 
Anyway, so I put lace on it. Oh, I yeah, so cute. I used um, the decorator weight right here, which I have on ironing board on a ottoman. A, ottoman. Um, I love it, and I cannot wait for Lori's new. She has a bunch of these new ones coming out. So on the decorator weight, I see new curtains in my future for my future window over here. So that's it. I there's a scar. <laughs> Which I remembered after I did this, like, oops, I didn't ever fix that. What are you strawberry. putting over that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I was playing around last night, but I was tired, so I just kind of gave up. But I like it just like that. It's going to go on my tear tray. It's adorable. I love it so much. Super anyway. cute. So she has, in this book, she has some made up the, out of the, it's the corn and tomatoes right here. Um, I did the six-inch finished so these guys end up to be three and a half. Um, she's got some pillows in this book that's made with, I think, six inch blocks. And then she's got a little pocket. Those are super cute too, but I just wanted something that would fit on, fit on my um, tear tray. This is not Lori Hold. I thought it was when I ordered it. No, oh, that's the Riley Blake. Kisses. Kisses, yeah. But that it matches really cute. Yeah. The other one I put the Lori Holt um, on Evelyn's. Um, and it's almost exactly like that. I think it has a lady's head on it, maybe. Made it a little more red, but um, I have scraps of this from doing my other projects. Mm -hmm. But that match really, is really, really good. Cute. It doesn't it does. look like it on. Yeah, but they're both Riley Blake. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. I honestly thought it was hers, but it's not. It's called Kisses, and I'm like, oh, that's probably Roy Holt. So I got it. I have tons of white on white of that. Oh, yeah, th I do too. Mm -hmm. After you showed it, we I think we think bought we, out an Etsy I think shop. we bought, bought it out. <laughs> and another lady that was emailing about it. But it's cute. Really cute. Very cute. Very quick workup. Um, I kind of messed up my other one a little bit right through here. That's what I get for sewing late at night. I talk to a friend till late at night all the time. And it gets me in trouble because I mess up a lot. But it's going to be cute on there. So that's my little finish. Heather has a finish that she did. This one? Well, we actually both finished. Yep. Finally. And your Heather's is, I may be a little biased, but well, it's your chair. I know, she I was never, she never the basket. Oh, she never pushes her chair in. Ta-da! Your head's in the way. Sorry. <laughs> I'll leave the room. <laughs> I finally finished it. I love it. It's my favorite that I've seen. Maybe because my whole sewing room is kind of done in those colors. I had a lot more red sneaking in lately, though. The whole strawberry thing. All Lori Holt fabric. All. Um, mostly bee backgrounds and flea market. Yeah. And granny chic. A little bit of granny chic. There's like a couple prints. A lot of flea market. Yes. Super cute. Are we showing what we're doing yeah, on the back? Yes, we found the coolest thing for her back. Oh. Vintage sheet to go on the back. Mm -hmm. I'm stealing it from my mom. Too stealing it from me. My yellow is too acidy yellow that I have. So 70s, that'll be really pretty. 70s, Very 70s. Yeah. I mean, it's roses, so it's pretty, but the colors are off. And I had this one, and it's just going to be perfect. perfect. She can use it, though, because when I steal that quilt from her, it'll be perfect in the shirt. <laughs> I have a ladder over there that I had that hanging on, and it's like, oh, okay, I'll give it to you. So that's nice to have but that But we have then. scraps off of it, so. Oh, um, definitely. Because um, that took me forever, but. Well, you know, I got I felt bed. like if I was starting other quilts that I really needed to get a couple done, and that's kind of why I'm doing the leaders and enders on that one yeah, one, too. that's a good idea. I'm going to do the gingham one like that. Yeah. So I had to repair mine, if you remember, because... <laughs> Because there's something about getting it on camera to yeah, see. Yeah, to see. And I checked it before, before, before I decided to show it today. So I changed my middle. Oh, that's so cute. I like that yeah. color in the middle. I do too. It's like a little burst. Um, and I had reversed this on one of them to where the dark was on the inside. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's easy to do on these. It was like. Um, there's so many different shape blocks that. Backwards cat ears or something. It was, yeah. So that's all fixed now. I love Heather's. I, I love, love yours. I love how cute that is. But I love the middle. 
I had to change the middle. I didn't like the way the the pinwheel looked. Gosh, that makes me want to do just like solid, like not even with the white, but like solid color yeah, would be pretty it would be scrappy. Beautiful. So it turned out really cute. Now I just got to figure out how I'm going to, um, thought I messed up on something again. I didn't. <laughs> Then, then it would never get done. I feel like she would burn it. I, I think I would burn it. Because to pull out a quill middle, that was a lot. It wasn't a lot. It it was a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. To pull the center out of a quilt, that was not fun. Because as I did it. you sew back in? That's what I'm saying. I, I had to pull back some of these okay. a little bit. Plus they're paper foundation so if you yank on them too much then they kind of come apart they come apart it was a it's why it's done now so i am going to probably just stipple quilt this myself are you using this as the backing yeah and i have flea market to go on the back to really pull out the blue and there's enough of that to do binding too so i need to get on it and get this done because it's really cute we're running out of time it'll be fun because uh my granddaughter can just you know, play with this. Now that we're covered, look at that. This is yeah. what my whole room looks like, by the way. Oh well, whatever. So I think that's it. I those are. I have a haul, but I'll show it next time. It's just fabric that oh. you've already seen today. Okay. Yeah, because we're running out of time. We're running out of time. So we're gonna say goodbye and follow us on Instagram. I'm at White House Stitchery. She's at Carly Court Cottage. Follow us here on this video. Um, so Amy J, go ahead and send us an email for the giveaway. Join us in Strawberry Social and Star Spangled Social and in our Quiltyville Quilt Along with Nancy Woolsey. That starts on Mother's Day. On Mother's Day or whenever, whenever you went. The other socials start now. Yeah. Um, and leave comments below and let us know what you're working on right now. And um, have a wonderful two weeks. Yeah. We'll see you before Mother's Day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah the day before Mother's Day. Okay, awesome. Okay.